Hello guys, which band sh should you choose for emergency communication at which time of the day? F for closer contacts, also not DX contacts, for I would say not more than 400 km. So this was a question what, uh, what I had some time ago and I, there is so much great information in the internet, it's unbelievable. And I will show you what I what I found. I'm, um, so what I've done is uh, I'm sure you know Whisper. One second, need to switch here. Whisper. This weak signal link where the digital mode where you send the signal out and everyone who receives it uploads it to the internet and then you can see if, yeah where the, where your sig yeah where the signal reached. Who. And the great thing is you can download all the data here. For every month you can find, uh, download the unbelievable big uh, file. I'm quite happy I downloaded it in the middle of the month because it's it's only under question mark 1.6 gigabyte it was I think. And th th they're everyone. This is from the whole world there is all data is in this zip file. So what you can do too, you can make the same. I have to say this, this is not so so easy. You need some database skill, I would assume. Uh, you import this, this this data to your database, then choose which uh, the top stations in your area. There, I'm sure there. Yeah, in Austria, I'm from Austria. I choose. I searched in the database, uh, give me the top stations in my country, what are about 350 kilometers away from each other, and what's receiving and transmitting the most signals. And I found these two stations here, and average the signal noise ratio per hour. So you see, for for the hour, uh, for the hour, let's say eight o'clock. For 8 o'clock, I averaged uh, 105 samples, and this is the result. Also because, I mean, yeah, th this guy's sending, I don't know how much times in the hour, let's say 10 times in the hour, he sent the signal, and then 15 days or something like this, and then you have 100, more than 100 samples. So this is uh, the more samples you have, of course, the, the better. And this is, uh, yeah, this is amazing because we, this is real life data. This is no crazy uh, computer calculated model. We know how wrong the models can be. Uh, this is what what it really is. You see, during the day when the sun comes out, uh, the signals are much stronger than in the night. This is 40 meters here, 40 meter band, and here on the right you see, uh, here you see the 80 meters. Uh, and in the, on the 80 meters the cool thing is that it's more or less the opposite, during the day it's, it's not working, also very very bad. It, this is 20 dB, it goes down nearly. And so in my opinion you should choose during the day when there is light out, sunlight, 40 meters, and only after, in the summer, this is for the summer, after midnight I would choose the, the 80 meters. But mostly 40 meters, so it seems like this is the best, this is the best band. Uh, so yeah, I mean, and I choose uh, different distances, so you see here 350 kilometers away, then I, I choose stations what I approximately, so 100, 200 kilometers, here you see for 40 meters, 100, 140 kilometers, and here I have 200 kilometers. Uh, the chart looks here more or less the same, these are completely two different stations here, than here. The chart looks the same, more or less. Uh, and here we have 45 kilometers. It looks also quite similar. There is only uh, between 3 and 5 o'clock there. This is, by the way, UTC time. It's not Central European time, so two hours you need to add. 
uh, there are two hours or three hours missing. I think it, that's why this line goes so so up. Yeah, and that's the result. Yeah, 80 meters. I would choose only. Uh, yeah, in the middle of the night, between yeah, two o'clock in the morning or something like this. But during the day, for closer contacts, of course, also for D, this is not nothing, this is no information for DX. This is, for, uh, I analyzed this only for for this for these distances. Uh, yeah, you can do this by yourself. You can choose the stations in your area, top stations, and look... Uh, yeah, this is real world uh, data. This is unbelievable that we have this. So thanks a lot to to the Whisper team and the, uh, the stations who who are running. And we are we we can uh, analyze this the data. Awesome. Thanks a lot and bye bye.